Hello, Richmond learners. This is Ms. Hartle, one of the first education teachers at Richmond Elementary School. Just welcome you back to our virtual learning for the 2020-2021 school year, hopefully virtually only in 2020. So today I'm going to show you how to do some animal movements. You can do these around your house or you can do them outside and you can even make it a game. You could like race a uh, family member or anyone you have around that you are still practicing good socially distance protocols with. So I have my friend Baby Yoda here today so he can help me demonstrate some of these or maybe I can race him and see who wins. First thing we're going to do is we are going to frog jump in our house and touch something that is green. So hands out in our push-up position, squat down and bounce and go find something green. Go, go, go. I'm going, oh, here's something green. Baby Yoda. At this time, I want you to hop on one foot. Maybe a flamingo was sleeping and then it had to go somewhere else because flamingos sleep on one foot. So we're going to do our flamingo hops on one foot and we're going to touch something red. Ready? Flamingo hops. Red. And then come back. This time we're going to crawl like a bear. My dog's name is Bear. He's upstairs napping. So we're going to crawl like a bear and find something orange. Can you find something orange? All right, let's go. Crawl like a bear. Find something orange. All right, I hope you beat me that time. This time we're going to walk like a penguin and find something yellow. Find something yellow. Penguin. Penguin walk. Find something. Oh, I got a banana. Miss Hartle found something yellow. It's a banana. Gotta eat healthy, especially when you're being physically active. And it helps ward off diseases and illness. So eat healthy. Now, let's see if we can do a Let's do a duck walk and find something blue. You ready? Duck walk. Oh, this hurts Miss Hartle's knees. I don't think anyone over 40 should be doing duck walks. All right. Oh, I found something blue. I just have something blue. Woo! All right. How about finding something purple? I'm going to do a seal walk this time. Join me. Do a seal walk. So put our arms out like a seal. Drag those feet. Seal walk. Ooh, backward seal walk. Ooh, that's hard on carpet. That's really hard. You do your best you can. Awesome job. So let's go ahead and saddle up, get on that horse, because we are going to gallop like a horse and touch something brown. Ready? One foot in front of the other. Swing those arms. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gallop is up. Something brown, it's my couch. Victory. This time, let's go ahead and move like a monkey. How about a monkey move? Guess it depends on the breed, huh? And we're gonna touch something black. I'm gonna be a monkey and touch something black. Oh, ta-da, something black. Now, this is where you get to make this assignment your own. Can you combine two animals? What if you were a fish and a fox? How would a fish fox move? I don't know. Maybe you can show us. So feel free to have fun with this. You could race. Like I could say, hey, baby Yoda, we're going to be moving like a pig. And we both have to touch something white. And I could say, ready, set. Go. And we're gonna move like a pig. Go, 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 and we're gonna find something white. And I can race them. So just have fun with it. You can do it outside. I would not today because obviously forest fires are going on. But whatever works for you and your situation. So have fun. Today was animal movements. I 
I'll see you again next week.